our road test of the LG Optimus G Pro. I personally am totally in love with this phone. Have any of you heard of a phablet or just that silly name? Never. No, uh -uh. no. no. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do today is each of you will take one phone out and look for specifically design, the features, and the kind of usability of the phone and then report back to me, okay? Yeah. All right, here's your LG Optimus Pro. For you, for you, for you. I feel like Santa right now. Hey, I'm Peter Brown. I'm an editor at GameSpot. I'm a gamer by day, techie by night, and I really like playing around with mobile devices. Hey, I'm Summer Huff, and I'm the beer rep here in San Francisco. And my favorite thing to do is hop on the back of my boyfriend's motorcycle and jump across the Golden Gate Bridge. Hello, my name is Alex Brown. I'm a student filmmaker. I love shooting on my tablet, device, or my phone, or whatever I can really get my hands on. I think the phablet form factor for the device is probably a strength for gaming because I think you can obviously see things a lot more clearly and the dimensions really help. It doesn't feel like you have to really like bury the device too deep in your hands to get a good grip on it. I can hold it kind of gingerly um, so that way I can you know, see more of the screen and I'm not worried about dropping it. I really like the design, the smooth edges. It's big but it's nice and thin. Tough, feels like bold, you know? Put it in my pocket. Doesn't even feel like I have my phone in my pocket simply awkward as far as talking on the phone. Maybe it's because I'm a woman and my hands are smaller, my fingers. Something that I like to do all the time when I'm talking on the phone with people is being able to do stuff with my other hand. But I feel like with this, I kind of have to, I don't know. It just, it, it wasn't working for me and it just didn't feel normal or right. Viniero, ciao, ciao bello. So how many cases of Peroni do you think that you go through a week or a month here? I would say about a couple of kegs a week. I love that you just said that. Yourself. Using this phone with my retailer is not very easy. It's not user friendly and I was having a hard time taking notes with him and I couldn't figure out how I would open up a presentation to show him. Um, also, I couldn't figure out how to open up an email to show him numbers of how my business is and how it's healthy and I couldn't figure out how to take notes on it. The keyboard is nice and large. I have big fingers. I don't have a problem hitting the keys and hitting double keys. Uh, I can see myself leaving my tablet at home and just taking this to class and using this, taking notes and stuff. I can't see really any downsides to the phone. It seems pretty fast. It's a nice size. Yeah, it's definitely a good crossover. It's weird. Uh, I was just trying to play a game and the screen got dark and so when I went to the settings menu to try to up the brightness, uh, I got a message saying unable to brighten more due to temperature increase, which is really strange, but I guess it was playing a 3D game and the processor got a little too warm, but I was only playing the game for 30 seconds, a minute before that happened. So that's kind of a downside. It doesn't seem like they've got a good uh, control on the heat management, fortunately. Wow. The camera is really good. I can catch some B-roll shots with this. It's pretty good. It's definitely 1080p. It's really clear. The clarity is really nice. It's not grainy at all. It doesn't look like I'm shooting with a cell phone. It looks really good. Only thing it lacks is I can't rack focus, but it's a camera on the phone, so it's really nice. It's a great camera. I could definitely probably shoot with this, shoot a film with this. One of the things that struck me as odd is this button right here. It sort of brings up an odd memo overlay, and so when I was trying to just do something simple, I found myself inadvertently pressing this and then drawing on the screen and having to back out. It's kind of got in the way of productivity. I'm trying to find actually where the camera function is, and I can't actually seem to find it, which is very frustrating. Oh, there's a camera. Here I am, silly Sally. Snap, okay, cool. That actually looks like it's really good quality. The detail is actually really beautiful. I'm impressed with that. Having a phone that takes really beautiful photos is very important to me. All right, you guys spent a little while with the phones, testing things out. Let's go, let's go kind of down the line. What are, what are your first impressions after using it? I loved it. I love the screen. I love the bigger screen. I really want to get one now. Really? Yeah, really motivated to upgrade. Okay, so we've sold one LG Optimus G Pro so far. <laughs> let's move on to Summer. What did you think? I was actually extremely frustrated with the phone. I couldn't figure out a notepad. I couldn't find the camera forever. The operating system is very different for me. So yeah, okay. I, would, I wouldn't buy it. All right, cool. You're the rubber now, because we've got a tie verdict here. Yeah, and I had kind of mixed feelings about the device. I like that it's really light. I think the size is pretty good. The build quality is pretty sturdy. I like that you can take the back off too to replace the battery if you want or add memory. From a gaming standpoint, not strong enough. Right. But as a phone, it's a good phone. So, I think I know what you're going to say, but yeah. would you buy it? Yeah, I would buy it. I'm going to be waiting for this to come out. All right. I think I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. No. <laughs> what about you? Uh, unfortunately, no. Oh. Doesn't interest me. 
Okay. So two no's and a yes. I guess that's kind of a failing grade for our LG Optimus G Pro.